Hello everyone, welcome back to the Java course 2023. In this video, we are going to discuss about classes and objects. So before we dive into the classes and object concept, let's first discuss about objects. So anything real uh, that exists in this world, which is real, okay, is an object. Like I am an object, you are an object, any other person is an object, any animal is an object, table, chair, laptop, everything is an object, okay? So anything whose existence is real is an object. Your home is an object, right? So like that, hope you understood it. Now let's consider the example of your home only. So your home in which you are living, how it, it has been built. You have uh, not just gone to some uh, cons contractor and said that, okay, please construct my house, right? You can't just say that. What you have would have done is, you first have gone to an engineer who would have designed a blueprint of your house, right? And then that blueprint, according to that blueprint, the contractor have or the constructor construction company have constructed your house. Perfect. So in the same way is the class. So class in Java is also a blueprint for creating an object. So class defines how, what are the properties of the object and what will be its behavior, right? So we will learn how to create our own class. So whenever we create a new file dot Java file, a new a class would have been created. Okay but it is created by default we are not creating it means actually we are not writing the class it is automatically created right but whenever you work on a big enterprise java projects you will see that there are many custom classes okay so we need to learn about how to create a custom class so let's create a custom class so let's create a class student okay so a student is a class now think about a real student and a student in real life is anyone who goes to school or college so he or she is an object right so what can be its properties okay so one property can be the student id second property can be its name and third property can be maybe his or her marks right so these can be some of the properties. There can be multiple properties, more properties than these three. But to keep it simple, let's assume these three are the properties of the student. So how do we define these properties of a student? We define these properties of a student using the variables. So we declare some variables. So we declare is to integer SID, which is student ID. Okay. Then we declare string name which is the name of the student and third we declare marks so let's use double for marks okay so these are the three properties of a student okay so this is a blueprint we are creating now why we need to create a blueprint so that for every student we should have a uniform uh, data okay that every student will have a student ID, every student will have a name and every student will have some marks. Very nice. Uh, perfect. Right. Now, moving forward, you want, you have multiple students. You want to know the details of every student. How will you know that? You, If you go by knowing individual detail that, okay, tell me what is your SID? What is your name? What is your marks? then it will be a very mess up okay uh, it, it will be very it, it, it is not a good thing because uh, for so many students it is not very easy thing to map one by one right so what can we do is we can ask a student okay please show your identity card or your report card in which your details are there in which your sid is there name is there or marks is there okay so a student shows his or her report card and you get to know okay this student has the SID this 
name this and marks as this right so this is a behavior of a student showing a report card to someone when a student is showing a report card to someone displaying a report card is a behavior of a student so how do we define this behavior we define this behavior in a java class using the methods okay so how do we write the method so first is we write public now public is a access modifier which means that we can access these methods we can access the behavior of a object outside the class if we use public we will discuss more about access modifiers there are four access modifiers we will discuss about them okay so first keyword we use public second is void now void means void is a void is a return type and it means that this method is returning nothing so a student when you are asking okay display your report card it is not giving you the report card it is just displaying you displaying means it is holding the report card in in his or her hand and you are seeing the details so that's called displaying that report card right so you say display now display is a identifier a method name okay here another identifier is a student it is this student is a class name so it is also a identifier we have discussed about identifiers in the first video you can uh, see that i will I, I i will mark that video in the i button okay so public void display this is a method and then and closing and closing the curly braces right opening and closing curly braces now inside this we write some logic so let's write a simple logic let's print that the student student attributes are student attributes are sid plus name and then marks okay so these are the three attributes so these are the three attributes okay of a student now now these are the blueprint basically we have we have defined the properties of a student we have defined the behavior of a student that the properties of a student is sid name and marks its behavior is to display the report card now how do we create an object a real time object because whenever you have a blueprint of a house it's you don't live in a blueprint of a house you live in a actual house okay so to create a blueprint to create an object we need to create an object we need to construct it so let's come to the main method to construct this and the object of a student is created by using a keyword that is new new is a reserved keyword in java which is through which we create a new object and then we write student and the parenthesis that's all so this student parenthesis is nothing but a constructor we will learn about the constructor in the uh, later in the series but for now you can just remember that this this is the way how we create an object now whenever we are creating a new object this object returns something it returns the reference of itself okay a reference or you can say an address okay so we need to store that reference so that we can make changes in the object or we can access the properties in the object so where can we store it so this student object returns a reference of type student now you, you might say what is the type student what it means by type student so when you say string s equal to let's say you say india okay when you say string s equal to india here string is a class okay string is a class if you click uh, go to the documentation you can see that it is a class right and we are using this class and when we are saying equal to india a new object a new string object is being created and a reference is passed so a, a reference is passed of type string and we are storing that in a string variable because only string data type can store this reference similarly 
student object passes a student reference or returns a student reference and we can only store in a student variable so we define a student variable as student okay and let's name it s okay student s equal to new student so this student s is not an object it is a reference variable that is referring to a student object only through this reference variable we can access the properties of the object or we can change the properties right so now we have got the student reference variable and a reference to the object and we have created a new object that's perfect now we need to know now we say okay hey student please display your we want i want your details okay so how will you know the details you need to call the method so how do you call the method you say first you write student reference variable then dot and then you say display so you call the method now when you call the method this logic will run and you will get SID name and marks so if we try to call this or try to run the program we get let's see okay so the student attributes are 0 null and 0, 0 okay that's interesting so we are not getting anything why because we have not specified any property what it means that whenever you declare these variables inside the class these properties they take a by default prop, uh, value okay the java assigns them a default value to them okay so default value for primitives like integer int is zero for any object type is like string or uh, integer class is null and for a, a double it is 0.0, 0. So it's taking a default value, but we want an actual value. So we need to first set the properties of a student. So how do we set that? We set by s dot sid equal to let's say the student name is Ajay. Oh sorry, this is not Ajay. Sorry, it's my bad. So how do we set the student properties? We set by s dot sid and let's uh, think that this is 10 okay so sid is 10 then we go to name name is suppose ajay and then we come to marks uh, s dot marks and the marks is suppose 87.56 or just 5 it is 7.5 okay now we have created a new student object whose SID is 10, whose name is Ajay and whose marks is 87.5. Okay. Now, if we try to display, now if we call display, we are saying that, hey Ajay, please show your report card. So, he will display the report card. So, what we will get? Let's see what we will get. We are getting his SID, his name and his marks so that's how we create a object of a student and we change its properties and call the method now there are multiple types of method or maybe you can say that uh, various different uh, signature methods in which some method returns something okay we will see in a later video a detail about the methods okay but for now to understand how classes and objects are in java we are just focusing on uh, we are uh, just going by simplicity okay simple concepts don't worry about that we are yet to discuss about constructor we are yet to discuss about the various methods so we will discuss one by one but one step at a time so this is how it is done right now here these properties that we have defined for a student these are known as instance variable okay so these are known as instance variables so instance variables are these are defined at class level okay so these are defined at class level and can be and can be accessed accessed by and can be accessed by any method or code block okay 
so code block can be uh, if else if else it can be uh, switch switch case or for while loop anything okay these are the code blocks so you can access these instance variable in either code blocks or in any method there are, are another type of variable which is known as local variable so as you can see that this student s is a local variable okay and any local variable don't have the predefined or default value so we can write that local variables don't have default values and they are accessible only inside uh, where they are defined okay so suppose this is a main method so main is a method so if a student s is defined inside the main method it can only be accessed inside this method if you try to access outside the main method it will you, you cannot access it right this is the concept of local variable and instance variable we will learn more about the uh, difference between them in an upcoming video okay this is how the class and object is defined i hope you have understood the concept of the class in java how can we create our own class and how can we create the object of a class and remember that here s is a reference to the object and object is a completely different okay also class doesn't require a memory class when you create a class it is not taking a memory in the in the jvm but this new student when we write new student when we create a new object it takes the memory so objects are real existence and class is a blueprint for that object so in conclusion an object is a anything that exists in real and it has some properties which is known as the instance variables and some behaviors which is known as the methods in other programming languages we call them functions but in java we call them methods so these are the methods we will discuss them about later i hope you have understood about the classes and objects in java so that's all for this video and i will see you next time Bye-bye.